We're, we're back. back. They're we're back. back. It's Wizlord Geek 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 Okay, so we're back. I'm Wizlord, and here with me, yes. And so we're going to be talking about a movie that we watched a uh, a month ago or so. Yes, long time. What was the movie? It was Captain America: Civil War. Yeah. And let's talk about it. Yeah, that's that's the whole point of the movie log. So, uh, yeah, Captain America: Civil War. A lot of people were hyped up about it, especially yeah. uh, since uh, Batman v Superman popped up a little bit before it. Yeah. yeah, before, and they were all we we're, were pretty sure that the movie makers of Batman v Superman were worried because yeah. Civil War was going to get a lot of hype going for it. But I guess first things first. Uh, did you like the movie? Yeah, I liked it. Um, I think out of all the like, I don't know. If, have you seen the other Avenger films? Or no, I have yet? not. Okay. Shame, shame <laughs> on me. So a lot of people said this one was the best one thus far. I would I, say to a degree. I would say I don't know. Like I thought the previous one might have been, or the previous Captain America film was a, maybe a bit better. Winter yeah, Soldier. Winter Soldier. I never saw uh, that one, but that ties in with this one. Yeah, that one was maybe. I mean, they're pretty close though. And uh, here's another thing: you can't really call it an Avengers movie because in yeah. the title it's Captain America: true. Civil War, that's true. which I feel like that's kind of weird. I mean, I thought the Civil War involved everyone, not just one yeah, person. So. That is true. And just, uh, well, despite all that, I, I personally really enjoyed the film. Uh, I, I didn't care about the film, because I never really got high. I never saw the first Avenger movie. I didn't see the second yeah, one. So I right. didn't see any of the Marvel's movie. No Iron Man, no Captain America, no nothing. So going in with no expectations, pretty much, right? Except the for... Hype, I guess. Oh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yes, it's true. He he saw the uh, the trailer. I did not. That so was the only good trailer. See the trailer because that that because the trailer for Civil War actually didn't spoil. It gave hype, like good hype, like uh, okay. like hey, guess who's gonna be in here? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. <laughs> it's like it's like okay, I gotta watch this now because Spider-Man's like my. I probably should have worn the Spider-Man sweater, but whatever. Oh yeah, well, yeah. I oh. have one, but it's really fucking hot. Oh. So. Okay. Yeah, so that was the only trailer I watched. You didn't see anything. No, I didn't see the trailer. No, and you also t- and you weren't surprised that Spider Man was in it because he's a part of the Civil War. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he is, in the, the comic, he's a big part of that. Yeah, which uh, I mean, we can we we'll, we'll be talking about that, like some of the, mm-hmm. the things that we were expecting to be featured in the film and um, comparison to, yeah. to such. But uh, for, but for the first part, we both liked the film. We enjoyed yeah. it. Uh, I liked it enough that I would watch it again given the chance. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Uh, typical for for the times that we live in. It's a darker film, for sure. Uh, there are some brief moments of comedy, but for the most part, I, I'd say it's pretty gritty and dark. Right? The the overall theme of it, like it was it was action packed. Yeah. It had its dark moments with uh, stuff we'll talk about in the spoilers, and the action was really really fun. And yeah. the comedy, like you mentioned, like it did it right. It, it didn't feel forced. It felt appropriate. Yeah. In it. So the other thing, because I was looking at the list of uh, what we're going to talk about, because new movies and well, it's been a while, but still, it's for those of you who didn't, oh, it's been a month, yeah, so. it's been a month and uh, well, actually, it's been two months since the movie came out, yeah, or whatever. True. It's so it's like, in case you didn't see it, which I'd yeah. say we both would recommend it. Well, I yeah. guess that ruined that last part of the video where it's like, so, do you touch it or do you recommend it? Well, we we can, yeah, we'll do that, that later. later yeah. But yeah, so the part that we were writing up, because we had trouble figuring out what to talk about with um, Civil War. Because it's a good movie, and good movies are... Well, it's, if it's good, it's good, right? Yeah. So we figured out a few things to talk about, and one of them was uh, comparisons between Batman v Superman. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so both films were trying to draw in like this you know, big group together. Uh, well, the... Although actually, the Avengers was kind of like dividing the group at one point. I remember because the gov- the government became involved and didn't want uh, them to be reckless. Oh, you mean you mean in Civil War or the previous? Uh, uh, the, the the new one, yeah, Civil War. Yeah, yeah, because because remember, yeah, yeah. we want to <laughs> say Avenger movie, but it's sorry, not. Yeah. yeah, so in Civil War, basically, uh, yeah, the rescues by the Avengers have led to some human casualties, and the government does not want that to happen, so they're trying it... to take control of them. And showing the past things with like Age of Ultron and yeah. the first Avenger movie. All the collateral damage. That, that yeah, yeah, collateral yeah. damage. Because uh, okay, so the comparison between Batman v Superman. One of them was the uh, story. What did you think about like com- like between the two? What do you what do you story? think about it? Because 
Uh, I mean, both in both instances, with Batman vs Superman, you know, the public is not really sure whether to hail Superman as a hero, and you know, they're oh, really? kind of painting painting him as a like an alien and another type of being. And I guess the Avengers are similar in that in that regard. You know, that's ironic because I was gonna because right? I was gonna say if. If Batman v Superman was supposed to be the start of the Justice League versus like yeah. Marvel, they've already did that. It's called the Avengers. Yeah. But now that you bring it up, where people are not sure whether a Superman is a threat or a savior between that, it's kind of the same in Civil War, it where felt, it felt that way, yeah. where some people are, where you know the damage they cause, like, is that worse than what was gonna actually happen? We as the audience know that's not the case, but no. to them, they don't know that. Yeah. Bitches. <laughs> so there's a lot of hostility between the government and the Avengers, especially yeah. those who don't want to agree with their what was it like some kind of their way. amendment or something, some big book. blocks of paper, <laughs> paperwork. I guess. To, to have them like be in check. Yeah, keep them in check. Yeah. And only they can only be sanctioned for battle when the government demands it, fit, right? So. Which you know it's kind of fair in the uh, to- t- team Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, Tony. Tony Stark agrees with it, uh, but uh, Captain America being the, let's see, I don't know if he's like an indi- The American. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's Captain America, being the one individual. Yeah, he's like the individual, so he feels that they should keep their... Identity. Independence and identity. Yeah, because yeah, uh, everyone who knows who, like in, in the universe of Marvel, they all know who Iron Man is because Tony Stark came, came out. Like, I didn't see the movie, but I know he said the line like, I am Iron Man. <laughs> and he's he's actually helped the military a lot with like weaponry and stuff like that right yeah so yeah guess, and see the yeah, other reason why yeah. he wanted to part of the interruption the other reason he agrees with being in check was because he uh his weapons and his projects have gotten people killed and yeah. he feels really really bad about that so like he, he completely agrees with it which you know from his viewpoint that's fair yeah it's fair given the fact that uh, a mother you know, confronted him about it and you know, re- revealed that her son had had, di- had perished in one of their their attempted rescue missions. And, yeah, he felt really, you know, guilty about that. So that's why he was more inclined to agree with the government's proposal. Which is, is that like, is that the Batman part of it with Bruce Wayne and uh, Batman v Superman where one of his employees got injured? Yeah, and... actually, yeah, I can draw, I can see comparisons. Wow. <laughs> Parallels there. Yeah. <laughs> Civil War. We'll be back. So yeah, we were talking about the comparison parallels, yeah. parallels between that, which uh, it's strange. It somehow actually kind of works out in, they do. in a weird way. That's why I felt that this was definitely. Well, which one do you think did it better? Yeah, I would say Civil War did, but uh, DC was definitely trying to. You know, respond to what they knew was already coming. That that uh, Avengers was leading up to a Civil War film, and they were gonna try to like you know have parallels with it. See, that's kind of the thing with uh, Batman v Superman. Is it it tried, but it didn't. Didn't live up to it. It didn't work out that well because you know Batman wasn't very smart in here because he's Batman. Yeah. And whatever, and what miscommunication here and there, but like Civil War, it did it in a way that you know people can enjoy it. Like you don't really think about it; you just know. You just go off the flow, and it just works out. And, so, uh, uh, should we mention any spoilers yet, or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. But well, we kind of did a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's not too deep for spoilers thing, so. for it. Yeah. Uh, we, we we're just kind of like character studying. Yeah. We were character studying things. Because no, another major comparison that we wanted to draw was the ending of both. But I guess we'll get to that later on with the, uh, the uh, you know spoiler right, spoilers, warnings yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, let's but, see. Uh, another part was uh, the action. Yeah. Between the two. So, obviously, this is going one way, so don't be surprised. Civil... Batman v Superman had the best action of all time! No. <laughs> no. C- Civil War. Civil War had, like, really, really good action, even from the trailers. Yeah, a lot of fast-paced action. Very so, coherent. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, a little bit... Maybe got a little bit too in your face, like, where you couldn't really... It was kind of like a... Not a blur, Up but... Up close. Some kind of motionless. Yeah. My motion were, blur, like what yeah, I was saying. Blur, yeah. You actually, when we were talking I it was earlier, 3D, but we didn't watch it in three. <laughs> yeah, so that's another thing. Yeah. So this was kind of a bias against Batman v Superman. Yeah. Maybe it would have been better in uh, without three D. Maybe yeah. we would have liked it better if it wasn't in uh, in three uh, D. But we didn't watch Captain America: Civil War in three D because no. uh, we had we had to try hard to find a time without 
3D. Yeah. Okay, because fuck 3D. Don't make, <laughs> don't make me take out my laser vision, which uh, you didn't know. <laughs> what i was doing in the last yeah. vlog until i showed you yes i remember we yeah, have 3d is usually an added three dollars isn't it fittingly enough i guess 3d $3. yeah because the reason the reason they want to push 3d is because if you're gonna have it you might as well use it but so they're they trying don't. to force it on you yeah. don't make me take out like the pot the what was it <laughs> repulsor beams <laughs> fuck you 3d yeah. fuck 3d repulsors you know like the the uh, scarlet witch stuff is it Oh, no, no, no. Well, I guess I could do that. I, I could I do that. I thought that's what you were thinking. I don't know. Well, I don't have the Iron Man gloves. Are you thinking Iron Man? Yeah, that's true. That's why I said repulsive <laughs> <Yes>. gloves. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so yeah, yeah, so action. Action, yeah. Action's really good. Uh, Captain America. Between the two, what did you like? Uh... I mean, Captain America makes good use of his shield. I thought those effects were pretty cool. Like, how he used it as, like, uh, almost like a... Boomerang. A boomerang. Oh, or... well, pretty much yeah. kind of is without yeah, the boomerang much. thing. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. Um... I'm trying to think what else. Like compared to Batman v Superman, like it's still a lot of uh, a lot of guns in both films. Uh, some explosions here and there too. Uh, threat at the airport fight scene. That's not a spoiler because everyone knows yeah, about that. Yeah. There are some terrorist threats, things like that. Uh, what? Well, yeah, the guy with the skull on oh, skull crossbones. Man. Yeah, you know what? Were you surprised how little he was? In, I didn't. I don't know who film? he was. Yeah, because I mean, he's not like a major villain, but he's kind of like. I would say Captain America's answer to let me see, I guess Bane in a way. He's kind of like the Bane of Captain America. <laughs> the Bane of Captain America. Yeah. Like he, they both have that similar, you know, mask and like big, you know, they're supposed to be like really big guys, but uh, and they use a lot of brute strength. Yeah, brute strength. But they're supposed to be also intelligent. But in this film, I, I didn't feel like they gave him much. Yeah, they didn't. Give he made much an time. appearance, and that was kind of it. Yeah. You know what I noticed? Uh... Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. don't didn't most of the action in Batman v Superman take place at, at night or in the dark? Yeah. While everything in the, in the day, yeah, yeah, yeah where part. we can see the action better. And this one, it was just kind of grimy and dark yeah. tone because Zack Schneider. <laughs> yeah. well, that makes sense. Yeah, Civil War was definitely happening a lot during the day. It, it was a lot lighter too, like lighter tone and actually lighter. Yeah. Maybe it was because the places they were, they were filming the the, the movie. Maybe it was be better, or the only time they could film was during the day. You never know, right? Maybe like at night. They would don't cause, forget, cause like disturbances uh, if, if you stuff. if you saw like the behind the scenes, yeah. they, they didn't like say the airport scene. They weren't actually at an airport. They were behind the green screen. Oh, that's true. So uh, no, they didn't cause any disturbances at all. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, between the two action, like I would say, Civil War had like the better action. There was more, without a doubt. Yeah, because they showed they featured all of the specialties, or sorry, special powers of each character. Like you would see, you know, how the Scarlet Witch would deal with th certain things. You would see how um, Iron Man, well, Iron Man, of course. You'd see Captain America, Captain America, Falcon, Falcon, Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, Spider Man, Ant Man, as well, of course. Uh, yeah, you know, Winter Soldier. The Winter Soldier, I, th I think that one was probably kind of weak. As he doesn't really have powers. He's just really he's just he's just another Captain America. Yeah, both without the shield, but a metal arm. But uh, you know what? Now that they bring it up, for for shoving in so many characters, they managed to make it all coherent too. Because usually yeah. when you shove that much character into a movie, it's like you know everyone has to have their own screen time and such. But uh, no, it worked out. Yeah, they even had. Uh, Hawkeye made a, an appearance briefly. Uh, well, I guess no, it, a good portion of it. Yeah, near the I guess fifty percent mark of the film. Uh, and then you had, of course, I know we're missing one character that we haven't mentioned. Uh, yeah, Black Panther. That's the, that's the one. Oh yeah, that's the that's the one that appeared yeah, here, and he was pretty neat too. He wanted to avenge his, his father and uh, take after his. I guess it's like a like a, an honor that's been passed down the, uh, from generation take heir to generation. a throne it's kind of like yeah. the thing where Simba's dad dies and he has to like yeah. take, take the throne ironic they're both cats <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah like the reason he's in this movie is because of a th uh, of a of a obviously a huge misunderstanding because yeah. if you've seen read the Civil War comic which I didn't but uh, D. Tyson here has you know this was all caused by someone mm. What did you think about the pacing between the two movies? I thought uh, Civil War went by pretty... It went by pretty fast, but when I looked at my watch, it was like, oh, wow, it's already an hour in here? I yeah. didn't feel like that. No, the pacing was very good. The only thing is you would notice it more if you didn't go to the bathroom beforehand, right? So you make sure 
Definitely go to the washroom before you watch It's definitely a long movie. movie. It was like, what, two and a half hours or Yeah, something, something like that. It was long. Yeah, and uh, Batman v Superman. That one was... Was that one longer? I forget. But uh, I want to say yes. I think so. Not by much. Maybe like 15 minutes or so. And then don't forget yeah. the potential where it's like uh, they might have alternate scenes that were would have been added. Oh, like, yeah, uh, that they didn't cut out. So it might have been even yeah. longer too. That's true. That is true. We'll have to wait until the uh, the Blu-ray DVD release. Though. If we ever bought it yeah. to watch it again. That is. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but yeah. Uh, we've already mentioned, I guess, characters, pacing the film. I guess themes would be the next... Oh, issue or the, uh, it was gonna be uh, the comparison between the movie and the in the comic, which is where your yeah, your expertise true. comes in. Uh, D. Tyson's a comic fan, so I guess this, this is the spoilers portion, right? I yes. think that's fair enough. Y- yes, yes, I think I think that's fair enough. So right. uh, yeah, so I've never read the Civil War comic. I just know about. it. I know a lot more characters are supposed to be fighting, and uh, Captain America dies at the end. Spoiler yet, not spoiler. Uh, but that's kind of about it. Yeah, that's that's about right. Uh, I think we were we were all expecting some kind of oh, yeah, major yeah. character death in this film, or at least you yeah. were. I didn't yeah. I didn't expect anything. I just I was hoping Iron Man would win because I was te- I was like Team Iron Man, <laughs> yeah. and oh yeah, I forgot the Civil War was also about the thing with like like trying to control the identities of heroes because there was like a part where Peter Parker reveals that he's actually Spider Man. Yeah, that maybe. happened in the comic. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but not but not, not in this, this one. So uh, so so from the movie and the comic, what were the differences that you know? Well, yeah, you already mentioned a major one. So Spider Man does reveal who he is in the uh, Civil War comics. Um, and that's a big deal, of course, because usually they, they keep their identity to themselves. Uh, and then Captain America also gets shot and supposedly killed, but although he does come back, of um, course. So in this film, we were I guess, I guess I was coming in with expectation that somebody was gonna unfortunately have to die so you know comparing with with batman vs superman where we didn't think that somebody was gonna die that was kind of yeah <laughs> at least not for a really stupid reason yeah so the ending of civil war i thought was gonna be the ending of batman versus superman where they're gonna join and you know join up and basically create the justice league with uh, maybe aquaman having a more prominent role at the end but that didn't happen so they killed uh, uh, Sp- uh superman oh, not spider-man sorry and then <laughs> super spider-man <laughs> Which there yeah. was a su- Superman versus Spider Man comic. That's true. Back in the day, that was like was that like the first crossover? I think it might have been right. Between One of versus, versus DC. Yeah, it was pretty good. Anyway, yeah. So we thought, you know, maybe Captain America was gonna die. Oh, so that, you did. I didn't expect yeah, anything. No, but like the ten- the amount of tension that was going on between the you know the battle between Captain America and Iron Man in, in that scene. The, at you, the end, do you think one of them was gonna die there? I know one of them was gonna get beaten badly at least. Yeah. So the way it ended, I thought with Captain America saying, uh, I could do this all day. Remember, like, when he's, like, doing that pose? Yeah. I thought that was, like, setting up maybe that he was going to die because just the fact that... Like, like, last stand. Like, yeah. Like, this is my final stand. Like, no matter I'm what, gonna, he's, he's not going to go I'm down. I'm going to beat the or, fuck out of you, Stark. Or he's going to die, you know, he's going to die, go, go out with a bang, I guess. Yeah. Kind of thing. So I thought that was going to happen. And also, with yeah. him and Bucky... You know, like when they're talking to each other and, and when they're going down, like in the elevator. Yeah. Usually when movies do that, it's usually like... Someone's going to die. Somebody of those two's going to die. So that's what we were expecting. Well, Bucky lost an arm. Yeah, which felt like a Star Wars moment. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, and... Like I, like, I did want Tony to win, but he was getting beaten by two... Essentially two Captain America, so... Yeah. He was going to lose. And it's funny you mentioned Captain America was going to... That was the original uh, script for it. He was actually going to die. Oh, they changed it? But they changed it to where no one dies. So it's like... Because uh, if one die, if like um, yeah. one of them dies, it would mean the other person was right. But by not having either of them die, it's like uh, you, have, you have to decide who do you think was right. Hmm. So it's like, you know, that was the decision the two directors were going for. It's like, you know, that's fine. Because if you kill Captain America, how do you, are you going to make more... True. So do you think maybe Disney kind of kind of had a say in it? Maybe they wanted like their merchandise to you know, keep just, going. Yeah, keep going because having them one potentially. I think it could be marketing. Yeah, could the be power like, of marketing. Marketing. <laughs> I don't know because I think that scene would have been a lot more powerful if Captain America had died there. Because yeah, it's like oh shit. You know? Well, see the thing as an audience, you saw like the yeah. truth of it, and it's like yeah. you know he he shouldn't die because he he wasn't wrong. No, but in him dying, I think that would have been more emotional. Yeah, it would have made more of an impact. Like maybe yeah, an impact. maybe Tony would have realized, oh shit, what have I done? You know, kind of thing. And then, then they would have 
maybe avenge them in his, you know, in his own way, and then maybe they would have joined with the... They probably have some dumb plot where, like, he yeah. comes back to yeah. life. But the way that they ended it, it, I don't know, it just seemed too, like, not happy-go-lucky, but just too positive. And, like, even the, the war machine, you know, he, he fell pretty high down, and he... Got like, paralyzed. Supposedly got paralyzed, but then you see him, like, you know, he's trying to walk still. Tony so, Stank! Yeah. So it just seemed, it seemed really, like, a very positive... Uh, too kitty. Way, yeah, way to end it. I felt it was it was gonna be a darker ending, and then Batman versus Superman would have been the more positive ending. But they did the reverse, which was kind of strange. Yeah. yeah okay. So going back, <laughs> maybe it's because comments. Doctor Strange is coming out. Oh. Strange things are happening. You know, they could have done a stupid <laughs> thing where if Captain America dies, he yeah. gets revived through like some Hydra bullshit. Because you. Yeah. That recent thing with like, uh, Captain America, that, America being like, "Hail Hydra." Yeah, apparently, he's joined Hydra now. No, no, no. He's, he's no. He's, he's always been a member, right? or something. Which is kind of, yeah, that's kind of strange. <laughs> nobody, nobody liked that. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, so, uh, and then the the Russian guy, like, uh, Oh, yeah. Um, Baron Zemo. So, he has more of a prominent role in the comics. I'm sure those of you who have read the older comics, he wears, like, a like a big purple. purple costume with, like, a mask and some kind of weird shaped head. But, yeah, unfortunately, I guess they were trying to keep him low-key, so people who weren't familiar with the comics you know, didn't really know that he was... Or, like, be, or feel like they're missing out. Yeah, missing out. So, yeah, he was basically trying to get revenge for the fact that his family... Was murdered. Was murdered at the hands of... You know, accidentally at the hands of Avengers because they were trying to save, you know... So, such and such, 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 but they got caught in that. That is such, like, the lamest, like... Yeah, no. I understand why he did it, but yeah. it was just, like, for villain motivation, like, it's just like, come on. Yeah. You've heard this so many times. Yeah. I get you. We really do. Yeah, they were caught in at the wrong place at the wrong time, and they they perished. And I guess he's listening to their the last call that he that he had with them. Yeah, he he did uh, it a lot where it was it, like a recording. It was a recording. Yeah. So he's basically trying to go backtrack and find a way to bring down an empire, which he sees the Avengers. The Avengers and Empire. So he's trying to crumble them, and he thinks the best way of doing it is to do it from within to have them, you know, basically destroy fight, themselves. Destroy each, yeah, so he doesn't actually have to do anything. Yeah. So the best way he does this is by doing his mission report, December 16, 1991. Remember, he keeps doing that. Oh, yeah. Mission, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mission report. Anyway, I so, forgot. So he's basically trying to track down footage of uh, Tony Stark's parents, I think, getting murdered, right? And uh, yeah. they had some kind of super soldier serum or something <coughs> in the backseat or uh, trunk. I don't know. So, in, in the back. Yeah, in... so the Winter Soldier was brainwashed to kill them. And steal the yeah, steal the pieces. I like when I saw that. I, I felt like a lot like Bucky because I did stuff like that where it was like I was under it was like under the influence of something. Nah. Technically not my fault, but I was the one that that did those actions. So, so like I, I saw a lot of that, and you know that what that we were talking about the, like how like were there anything wrong? Was there anything wrong with the movie or anything we didn't feel right with it? I thought that scene was kind of weird. Because it was like, it was shown in the past where Bucky, like, you know, destroys the car and, like, kills Tony's parents and takes the stuff. And it's like, conveniently, there was a, there was a camera on that yeah. highway. I was like, what? <laughs> that was the most fucking convenient thing ever. Yeah, because at the beginning of the film, they just show, like, a motorcycle hitting a car and it goes into a pole and, you know, blows, blows up. But then later on, yeah, there's like a weird camera angle. Where, uh, and apparently he was at a gate. Like it zooms in and it, it shows him like, you know, beating them up. And, and there stuff. now you got footage of yeah, him yeah. being caught doing it. I was yeah. like, <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, yeah. did the Russian plan tell Bucky, like, destroy, destroy the stock car right here at this gate? Very specific. Yeah, I don't know. Like, because you didn't see a gate during that scene where he crashed nah. the car. No, like in the background, it was just all fours it just looked like a highway i was just like i was just like i was like i really have to see how this russian guy reveals the footage and it was like it was just there all along i was like fuck you yeah like a close-up didn't really seem that was a cheap yeah they make it believable really it's kind of like hiding like a slasher villain just off camera but the characters in there don't see it for some reason because it's off camera to the audience it's like you know what yeah that bothered me (laughs) that that was just dumb i i thought i thought maybe there was a drone that like caught it or something that would have been something, but uh, yeah, that part bothered me more than the other part with um, yeah. Tony finding out Spider who Spider Man is. Yeah, you didn't like that part, right? Because uh, well, it just seemed... I could, I felt it could have been done better. 
Yeah, like, how does he even go get in there with uh, Aunt May, who's surprisingly young in this film? Oh, yeah, yeah everyone's talking about that. And the <laughs> the excuse of Aunt May being young yeah. is, is because Peter's really young. Because yeah. when he gets older, then she's yeah. older. And yeah. it's like, uh, he can kind of... I, I, think I can kind of accept that. I think Marvel is just trying to start, you know, fresh, possibly. Uh, oh. But, actually, that, I'm actually I'm actually wrong in that, in that way, because with the new comics, I'm sure you're aware of this... Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man is actually not white anymore. Oh, uh, like, what was it, Mike you know Gilson? He's actually, a, 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 yeah, he's a black man, and he's actually, uh, yeah, he's homosexual as well. But I guess they didn't want to take that stance in this film, so they made him, yeah, younger, and still, you know, white Peter Parker, as, as he's usually known as. Um, I don't know, do you think in the times that we're living in, they should have maybe mowed the new Spider-Man, or... Oh, the one in the comics? Yeah, because even like Nick Fury, the one that you see with Samuel Jackson, that that's the new Nick Fury. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Because so, if you've yeah. seen, ironically, Spider-Man, the animated series, Nick Fury's, uh, oh, he's white. Yeah, that's and, how he used to be back in the day. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm okay with that, because if Spider-Man can be black, then he, then I can also be Spider-Man, too. Well, isn't that good, though? I don't know. No, he's, that's good. Because other people a chance, I guess. Because so. then you don't have that bullshit that's like, uh, it's like, oh, you can't dress up as this because you're not a certain ethnic yeah. race. It's like, oh, fuck you. I want to be <laughs> Spider-Man. Yeah. Make one make one with Spider-Man. <laughs> so, it, you know, it could have worked, I guess, but then maybe some people would have had complaints. Cause some people are too, are too attached. Or they're, yeah. they're not open towards the idea of it. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it changed, essentially. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean... I didn't really find that scene believable, yeah. Like the way that Tony Stark, you know, he knows all this stuff about Spider Man. Or he tracks and... like Spider Man somehow because he's trying to recruit yeah. like heroes to fight against Captain America. Ironically, yeah. he only recruits like an even number of six against the other six. I, you know, if I was Tony, yeah, I would have more... tried to gut get more. Well, I mean, the Hulk and Thor were, you know, absent. Absent. Well, Thor was actually doing some Asgard war in, like, yeah. uh, in his own movie. And the Hulk just, you know, I guess he, he, after. he wanted to be left alone. That's usually his, his mission. But then again, I guess since he, Tony only had 12 hours to find heroes, that's all he could gather at, yeah, the, yeah. at the moment. That's true. So, potentially that. Actually, at the beginning of, the, of that fight, Jarvis wasn't there yet. He had to come a little later. So, yeah. you know what I, what I would have liked? More heroes arrive, but only for, like, you know, the fight's almost already over. We don't... <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? But, yeah. Uh, so, what did you think about the Spider-Man in this movie played by Tom Holland? That's his name? Uh, yeah, I think he did well. He seemed... Oh, well, well watch out. He's British <laughs> playing an American guy. Fuck uh, you. He, well, he did pretty good. Since he was more of a rookie at this point, you know, you could see, like, he was still trying to... Adjust? Yeah, learn the ropes, so to speak. Uh, but he still had the, the the determination and the heart that uh, and Tony the, and the knowledge. Yeah, Tony appreciated. That's why he recruited him. Um, I thought the scene with, where they're trying to you know stop Ant Man was was probably the, the funnest part of, of this. Oh, film. Oh, when he turned yeah, when giant, he turned giant Ant Man. It kind of reminded like a giant Ant Man. Yeah, giant man. It felt like a a Godzilla movie at that point in a way, didn't it? Yeah, like it the did. Old, old school ones. Uh, that was pretty cool. But, yeah, so I I like the Spider Man here. I don't think I I've never seen the Amazing Spider Man, but apparently a bunch of people like like that one too. I mean, his costume was pretty cool too. I thought I thought the eyes, the were, moving eyes, were a little cool. a little weird. It's it was yeah. very I mean Japanesey. I guess Deadpool used a certain thing. Uh, so similar. so did Black Panther in the yeah. movie, but he he did it less because yeah. he always had to be angry. That's yeah, true. So, the thing that bothered me was how Tony discovered it was Peter Parker that was Spider-Man. Or at least he had a really, really good hunch on it. And I was just like, it's not... I didn't find it believable. Like, uh, like Tony didn't test him or anything or do something that's like, only Spider-Man would do this or something like that. He's just, he's just like, he busts open his attic and it's like, hey, costume! <laughs> You're Spider-Man! Because I'm Tony Stark. Yeah. Because I was, t- I was talking to you. Like, like, like totally should have done something where you're like, either... Do something where his spider sense would come in or make him, like, uh, use his spider powers. And it's like, so you're not Spider-Man. No, totally not. And it's like, fine, I am Spider-Man or something like that. And then we just talked about, like, now. Not now, now, but before this. Yeah. It's like, if Tony only, like, stuck a homing beacon on him and it's like, uh, and then show the him, like. Yeah. And then it's like, uh, when he finds a costume, it's like, uh, this is nothing. And he, like, grabs it. It's like. Yeah. It's like, oh, shit. Yeah, that could have worked too. That could have worked really well. So I felt that scene could have been done better. Yeah, that was that was the one scene that, other than the zoom in with the you know the killing murder f- scene footage, yeah, those two scenes didn't really make any sense uh, from a viewer's perspective. 
the, 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 the buck you seen was fuck that the spider-man scene was like just god damn it yeah but i guess not every movie is obviously is gonna be perfect yeah so but overall yeah, it, it, it didn't it, did well. it didn't it didn't completely distract my enjoyment of the movie as a whole yeah. you know like you said not every movie is perfect so there's a few things that could be uh forgiven <laughs> yeah well very, actually very few movies are perfect that's really hard a hard thing to achieve but but yeah overall if you're a fan of the the comics i think you'll appreciate even though it, it does take a different direction uh, compared to the actual comic but yeah yeah that, that, going back to that it's like i don't think they should have called this civil war because it just it doesn't feel like a civil war it just feels like a little quarrel yeah i guess so, maybe maybe it does live up to its name in some ways because they did end it in a civil manner maybe by, by the end of the movie maybe that's why they call it civil war it could be right because i because for one for one thing if it's a civil war i i thought it would was going to be like an avenger avenger movie yeah but it's not it's a captain america movie and you know he's going to live if it's going to be called captain america unless it was his last movie so i felt like it should have been called something else like captain america uh divided we fall or something yeah it's some shit like that what not Civil War, because this isn't big enough. I think it could be what they want to do with the next potential film is... So this one was called Civil War. And There's going to be one called Infinity War. Yeah, that's what I was going to get at, with Thanos and all those uh, other major characters from the Marvel Universe, where they, they're trying to basically stop a madman from destroying the entire planet. So, or running the whole planet. He's basically becoming, you know, becoming a god by collecting all the six uh, gems. What about Galactus? Yeah, he would be in it too, right? I would think because he was he was a major part in the the comics of that series. So, the thing is, I mean, you've seen Rise of the Silver Surfer, right? No, you haven't seen that. Okay. No. Well, unfortunately, Galactus he's supposed to be in it, but you don't actually ever see him in, in like his full <laughs> oh, form. You just see like a kind of like a I don't know like a cyclone like that he's supposed to be in like a hologram. Yeah, when he comes no, when he comes down, you just see like a like a big cyclone, like a storm kind of basically, but you never actually see you know his his robotic type. Armor. You never see his physical self, just yeah. like something that's a weird embodiment. Yeah, of him. it's weird. Like the only thing you see at one point is when Silver Surfer's, you know, trying to fly up to him. I think you see the eyes and maybe like the shape of the head. Oh, like the silhouette of yeah, him, but yeah, not actually yeah, him. So that was disappointing. So I don't know if they'll bring him back, you know, in an actual form now. Now that now that they've done Apocalypse, maybe it's possible. So I am the Apocalypse, yeah. <laughs> who looks like Ivan Ooze. Yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. But yeah, Infinity War should be interesting. Uh, I don't know, have you read the comic? No. Okay. It, <laughs> no comics for me. Infinity War was actually a sequel to Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, Does it go on for Infinity? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Infinity Gauntlet, I actually enjoyed more. Infinity War was like a rehash of it, but like Thanos, who was the, the villain of, of Infinity Gauntlet, is now a... How do you say it? Not that gone AWOL? No no. I'm trying to think of the word. Like he's not a, a hero, but he's kinda of like a anti hero? Yeah, like he, he's trying to take a stance so that he's helping basically the Marvel Universe against he's a, trying to be a, Samaritan a new a new villain called uh, Magus who's trying to take control of the gems. Magus. Yeah, Magus. Not Magnus. Not Magnus, no. But he is purple though. But yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know if, that, if that's going to be... Maybe the... should have taken a stand against copyright. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't think they're going to do that film. They're probably going to do Infinity Gauntlet, but they'll probably call it Infinity War because it sounds more... I don't know. Oh, because it's, it it's going to be it big has, if it's a war. It has to be a war, right? Yeah. Maybe they'll maybe they'll get more money for it, too. Like, uh, oh, hey, Disney, yeah. we're going to make another movie. It's called Infinity War. Give us lots of money so we can make it awesome. It's like, oh, okay. Because if it's like Gauntlet, it's like, oh, you know, that doesn't sound that big. Fuck you. Yeah. Well, speaking of war, uh, did you feel that the, the both films, you know, Batman vs Superman, Captain America: Civil War, were trying to tie into the whole, you know, political? That was actually where we were going next. Yeah, issues that are going on. You, you and, brought it up, and I can see it when yeah. you told me. But otherwise, because uh... the states right now, yeah, it doesn't look too good, guys. Uh, a lot of hate brewing in that country, and uh, you know, Donald Trump and. Oh geez, we're getting political here. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so it's hard to avoid, I guess. But uh, let's hard, let's avoid yeah. specifics. Yeah, we'll like avoid Donald, specifics, like Donald Trump. Yeah. Um. But yeah, a lot of hate's been going around, and uh, it almost seems like like in the Civil War, where you know Baron Zemo is trying to have an empire, you know, crumble and self-destruct itself. 
that's essentially what's going on in the states right now i think a lot of uh yeah, people would like to see a downfall. Yeah, the states self terminate self destruct, and I don't know. Hopefully, it it won't happen because that that would affect us as well. So kind of unfortunately, and, yeah, it would affect a lot of people. So yeah, if, I think the movie's kind of hinting at you know a metaphor. Yeah, that we should, metaphor. Yeah, the way we do things, you know, have to change. We can't all be against each other, right? We have to be like a a, a, a team, right? Every country has its own way of contributing, so. Uh, and yeah, the sense of Justice League and Avengers, I think they're both trying to say that, right? Like people got to join, join forces rather than the enemies. So. Or fighting amongst yourselves. Yeah. Because it was, uh, yeah, because in the movie it was like, uh, the, the Russian guy, I keep forgetting his name because I don't Z- give a crap. Zemo. Z- Zemo. Yeah. Zemo. It's not Zizai. It's it <laughs> Gods Among Us. Nah, I don't know. Or no, not Gods Among Us. Uh, the gods must be crazy. Oh. Uh. uh, anyways, yeah, so, so he, sh- yeah, so his family dies, so he's trying to get the Avengers to fight him, fight amongst themselves by framing Bucky, because uh, yeah. Bucky has this code inside his head that from the Russian thing, or yeah, they basically, say certain things, and yeah. he'll do his mission. Yeah. Uh, so Captain yeah. America <laughs> figures this out, so it's like, uh, yeah, we gotta save Bucky, and then we gotta stop these other versions of him, so that, uh, you know, we don't have more Buckys. And hence the whole fight scene with Tony trying to stop him, because he doesn't know what's going on until later he finds out like what's going on and then tries to help and then they end up at that uh base in the arctic i'm pretty sure they showed that it's uh at the arctic then they have the revelation where bucky killed tony's parents and because in the movie earlier tony was talking about this device that that rearranges your memories of what actually happened because oh, yeah, uh, his true. parents his parents like uh he was like you know, I wish I told my parents I loved them, but when they left, but I didn't say it, so they died. And, you know, that's very traumatizing. So then he finds out the truth, and it's like, I want to kill you, Bucky, you fuck. Yeah. But it's like, it's not his fault. It's well, not his fault. Well, he, he was under control, but it, but he was the the medium yeah. for it, though. So it's kind of hard to, like... Uh, and then he asked Captain if, if he knew about it all this, these years, and he did. But he, he, he didn't want to hurt him. his feelings or whatever, so... Which, uh, depending on yeah. how you look at it, that, that could be bad. Because, you yeah. know, it's like, uh, god damn it. Yeah. So we had that fight, and then the, and then the end, and then it ends off with both of them being alive, but Captain America and Bucky running running off to somewhere safe with uh, Black Panther, who also who was also tracking them, too. And he was, uh, the, the reason he joined Tony's side was to catch Bucky, because Bucky was yeah. Bucky was the one that killed uh, his or got his father killed, even though that was uh, was, Zemo's yeah, in disguise. Yeah, in disguise yeah. So all this confusion and stuff and miscommunication that was a lot better than Batman v Superman, where it was just like Martha, how do you know that name? Yeah. <laughs> that was silly. Actually, one thing we didn't comment on when that scene near the end where Zemo and uh, and Black Panther. Panther are, are talking, and Zemo's you know apparently gonna end his life. He's gonna su- suicide with a gun, and then Black Panther you know in- intervenes. What did you? How did you take that? Do you, do you think that was like uh, a way of saying that even though you know I'm obviously upset of what you've caused here, I'm not gonna be less be less of a man than you, or yeah. that we need to be forgiving for our actions. Is that what it is? Maybe. You know, see. Or, when you when you put it like that, at least the movie makes you think, and that's uh, that's kind of nice. So our ways of interpreting that, so probably yeah. that uh, you know, despite what you did, you should not become what what you uh, sought to destroy. Don't know what I'm talking about, but something like that. <laughs> I think maybe he also didn't want him to, you know, get off that easily. Like he yeah, wanted... I know that's true. Put him in jail. Yeah, which yeah, he'll, he'll definitely. In, be involved in the sequel so we'll see what happens he'll probably get break it you know. maybe i'll get a costume yeah i would think so yeah so that was essentially the ending part yeah the, the ending to it uh oh what right there was one part that kind of nagged at me a bit like uh when who is it uh hawkeye and I forget oh, who was. Oh yeah, we didn't really talk about Vision. True, yeah, Vision was. This... <laughs> no, 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 that Hawkeye and uh, the the Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. No, no, not the Witch. Uh, Scarlett Johansson's character, Black oh, Widow. Black Widow, yeah, we didn't. But talk it was about like her, uh, where they were fighting, and like uh, Wanda had to come in and help, and she, you know, she had this this kind of accent there when she's talking with people and stuff. During that scene where she was like, uh, "You're pulling your punches," she's just like, "You're pulling your punches," and not like, "You're pulling your punches." Like there was no accent. I was like, 
lady, did you just drop your accent right there? That that part bugged me a little bit. But uh, yeah, that airport fight scene was great. Yeah. A lot of fun, especially with Ant-Man growing giant size. <laughs> Which apparently he didn't do in his actual movie. He just said he off screen. He like uh, he's just saying like, oh, I did this off off movie at some point where I turned giant. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely the best scene in my opinion. Yep. Uh, uh, compared to all the other action, yeah. too. Uh, perhaps the even the end too. But I like the airport scene because it was all these heroes fighting against yeah. each other. Definitely a great scene. But yeah, uh, looking forward to see where they take the sequel. Uh, if it, whether it's going to be Infinity War, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be, it'll be a good one. Well, let's see. So, the post credit scene with uh, Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. uh, so, how do you feel about, like, another Spider-Man movie, a new one, uh, since the, whether they're going to be rebooting uh, after Amazing Spider-Man, or it's actually just going to be like, oh, yeah, we know about the spider thing and Uncle Ben shit. Yeah. You're going to do your own stuff. Because it said, like, Spider-Man will be back. It's like, oh, wonder what he's going to do. Yeah, they keep bringing Spider-Man back. I mean, I guess maybe the the previous films weren't as successful as they would. Well, Amazing like. Spider-Man two apparently like a lot of people like didn't like that one. Yeah, I mean, I watched the. It. Uh, it wasn't a terrible movie by any means, but I mean, wasn't didn't live it up. Wasn't great. I think Electro is what people really didn't like. Uh, they just couldn't picture, you know, really believe Jamie Fox was Electro. It didn't really work out. Because um, you know, like you, you remember how Electro is in the, in the original. Where he had Cart- the yellow... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess thing. they didn't want to make him look, like, goofy. He, he, that looks goofy. But he, he looks kind of weird in this film, too. Like, in its yeah. own way. Yeah. Like, it wasn't really... Like, the way he becomes Electro in this film was was really strange. I think he was, like... I think he fell into a... A vat of eels. Yeah, they were all genetically... And then yeah, he got modified. electrocuted yeah. and <laughs> revived. It's, that's just... That's just really dumb stuff. And he was, like, a... He was like an emo guy who he he Jamie met. Jamie Fox, what the yeah? Fuck? He met he met Spider Man by accident one time. I think Spider Man maybe saved him. Probably no. He, yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, and he goes, oh thanks, and like he he's obsessed with Spider Man, like and he's very positive about it. But then like when he gets turned into an electro, yeah, for some and reason, then for some reason he just wants Spider Man Ted. Like yeah, he turns against what? <laughs> That's because I think he wants like all the the attention kind of thing. Yeah, so it seems like. He wants all the status. Actually, wait. I know another reason why. I think it was because he was upset that Spider-Man wasn't there to save him. From, fuck! Like, <laughs> what the fuck kind of reason? It's like he felt like, oh, I, you, you're the reason why I'm like this. Oh, yeah. I suppose if he drops his cereal, yeah. he's going to be like, Spider-Man's <laughs> fault. This is That's some, like, J. Jonah yeah. Jameson shit where it's like, like, Secretary, give me my cigarettes. Sorry, the store's out. Spider-Man! Yeah. Fuck! Clean everything on Spider-Man. <laughs> Well, he can only be, you know, in so many places at one time, which is one place. That, and he's only uh, human. Yeah, he's not, he's not spider power. He's not Superman, who can kind of, kind of rewind time if he has to, but, yeah. And meet himself. Yeah. But, yeah, so, well, let's see. I've seen the Sam Raimi trilogy, which is actually on my uh, back shelf over, over there. Yes. Let's take them out. Yeah, I thought they were pretty good, I mean... Got uh, Tobey Maguire. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, the third one is the one that people really freaked out yeah, about. Really freaked out about for good and not so good reasons. Yeah, I think just the way they killed off Venom, people were upset about that. And... I actually, th- right? So, well, actually, right. they said like, "Oh, you had too many villains in them." So, and I was like, "Ah, it didn't find me." But I didn't like uh, like a lot of people freaked out about the emo thing, and I can agree with that because that the way they portrayed that was just really mm, silly. Yes, but. Not something I want to see in Spider-Man. I pr- would have preferred, like, from the animated series where Spider-Man had, like, the the dream where uh, the symbiote and his spider uh, par- part was, like, fighting each other, trying to, like, grab at Peter. Symbiote wins, and then he becomes the Black Spider, and it's like, oh, wow. This is some weird shit. Well, do you think potentially before we see an Infinity War film, they might try to do a Secret Wars film? Because that's where the symbiote costume originally came from. Was, oh, yeah. Like that, an that's... alien entity, right? That mm. attaches so. If they did that, they yeah. can also shove in the Fantastic Four, too. So it could work. I mean, because Chris Evans used to be part of the Fantastic Four. He, he played the Johnny Storm, which is the Human Torch. But then he became yeah Captain America when Fantastic Four. Oh, God. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's true. So, so every time I see Captain America, I'm always reminded of, like, yeah... You're in yeah, a Johnny, different Johnny Storm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I so, forgot. Yeah. I should have. Yeah, so part of me can't really take, I guess, Chris Evans as seriously as Captain America. You're expecting the flame on. I already saw him as a goofy Johnny Storm. Yeah, flame on, yeah. 
<laughs> you think so, anyone ever... I should have bought the DVD then. And it'd be like, hey, yeah. Captain America, I want you to sign this. It's called the Fantastic Four, you <laughs> fuck. I don't know. But do you think they could do that, maybe? Secret, uh, Secret Wars before... That would Secret definitely Wars? be a worthwhile that movie. Because cool. I, I saw the an- the Spider-Man animated uh, yeah. Secret Wars. It's different from that, but no, it's, it's, it's quite entertaining. Like If you ever get the chance to watch it, I would I would recommend that. Yeah, because it, it'd be nice for a nice way of them to redo the whole symbiote storyline, right? Yeah. Okay, so since we're running out of time here, um, recommendations uh, for yeah. Civil War? Yeah, I would recommend this. Uh, don't go in with like high expectations, super high expectations, like expecting the obviously the comic book to come to life. Yeah, it does change a lot of things. Uh, I think it's trying to relate to the world that we're living in at the moment. A lot of uh, you know fear mongering and terrorism brewing and things like that. So yeah, uh, uh, for what it is, it's good. Uh, I'd say seven point five out of ten. Um- Obviously, this this whole entire vlog is one sided for the movie. So yes, definitely recommended. Like I said, I would watch it again. It's a it's a fun action movie, uh, good action, and just it has a really good pacing too. So definitely would recommend watching it. And uh, once again, Spider Man. Yes, he's back. Yeah, well, and he'll be back in his new he'll movie. Be, yeah. He'll be back. So uh, and we'll yeah. be back. We'll be back next time with another movie. I also have bad news, probably. Why? I think this vlog took more than X number of minutes. All right, terminated. Hasta la vista, baby. It's Wizard D. Tyson Dater. 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 It's Wizard D. Tyson Dater.